Okay, so today I'm doing a new Project Pan intro and it is one of the Fantastic Ladies collabs. I have watched a lot of their YouTube videos, followed a lot of them on Instagram for quite a while and I've wanted to join but I don't use Facebook. So Jessica said I could go ahead and just do the project anyway. So that's what I'm doing. So we're trying to finish 10 items by the time summer starts. And I know last year some people did weight loss too, which is cool, but I'm not gonna do that but I am pretty excited for this project. Okay, so first up, I did include one non-makeup item just because I was kind of running out of stuff that I could reasonably finish. So it is this Britney Spears perfume. I did mark it. And what's this one called? Oh, it's just fantasy, Britney Spears fantasy. I thought there were several, but anyway. I really like this. I know it's cheesy, but it smells good and the bottle is pretty, but it's halfway gone, so I need to get going on that. Okay, next up, a foundation. And I already have, I have two foundations in this project, I'll tell you that, but they're both almost halfway gone. So the first one is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD. I really like this. However, it does not last well. It breaks up pretty easily. I think if you have very, very dry skin, you don't have that problem with this, but I have combination and I'm pretty oily in this area and it tends to break up pretty easily. Uh, unfortunate, but that's where I am. So probably a third done with it. So, but I think I can definitely finish that by then. Um, okay, the second foundation in this project, Estee Lauder Double Wear. This one is about halfway gone. It's that, well, maybe not quite half. That mark there, this has been in a project before. I really love this foundation. I haven't worn it in a while because I was panning a few others earlier this year and I'm wearing it today for the first time in a while. I forgot how full coverage it is. I put way too much on because I'm used to using like that LA Girl one or the last one that I finished was the Lottie London. So yeah, I forgot how full coverage it is, but I do love this. Um, this is my go-to for you know, special occasions, blah, 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 but I need to use it up. Okay, this product is almost full. It is the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I really like this. This is so good, but I think I can finish it because it's only 0.67, but honestly, I think I'm gonna repurchase. I've been struggling to find a good drugstore primer. Most of the ones I've tried, I really don't like, but this actually smooths things out. So this is awesome. There's really no progress. I mean, I've used it probably 10, 15 times, but good stuff. Probably will repurchase unless I happen to find something better. Okay, this one's gonna be hard. This is the Cover FX Click Stick in Celestial. I mean, this is pretty much full. I didn't mark it, but look at that. I mean, it's pretty much to the top of that. So my goal would be maybe to get halfway. Uh, I'm gonna need to remember to use this, but I like to use this underneath my foundation for a glowy look. Um, I put it on after primer. I really do like this. So hopefully I could get halfway, that'd be nice. Um, this one, ColourPop Curve 2, is that what this is called? It's lip gloss. I love their lip glosses. They're definitely my favorite. Um, I have finished one before in Fairy Floss and I feel like it went kind of quickly actually. They have 0 0.085 ounces. It's pretty small so even though I've only used this a few times I think I could actually finish this and it's an everyday color. So then I picked a lipstick to go with that. I do have another lipstick in a project pan and lipsticks are really hard for me to finish, but, and I don't think I'll finish this, but hoping to get some progress and it's Mac Blankety. This is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, but I have so many nudes now and I found other colors that I really like. I need to get going on it, but I mean, it'd be great if I could get halfway because I just don't think I can finish it. I'm just, not that talented at panning lipstick. Um, okay. My stuff is falling. This honestly may be one of the hardest in this whole project. 
There's a lot of color pop I've noticed. So this is the no filter concealer. I have the color Fair Neutral 10. So I marked it there. There's not a ton of progress. I don't love this. This is gonna be difficult. But if I use it on my face, it's fine. But I don't always need concealer on my face. But for the under eye, this is way too dry for me. So I do want to use it up. It works. Hopefully I can do it. But honestly, this may be the most challenging thing in this whole project for me. Okay, a highlighter. This is just a deluxe size of Tarte Stunner. I got this for free in some Ulta gift bag thing. I really like this. And I feel like my goal, so my goal would be to hit pan, definitely not finishing it, but how much is in this? 0 0.07 ounces. That's pretty small. So I feel like I could hit pan on this. Most full size kind of powder highlighters like this, they're like mostly 0.3 ounces. So 0 0.07, I feel like I can hit pan. It's a great everyday highlighter, nothing too crazy, but you can build it up. So hoping to hit pan there. Um, and then the last item, the ColourPop Yes Please palette. Obviously I'm not gonna pan this whole thing, but I'm hoping to hit pan on an eyeshadow. And I haven't really decided which one. I have barely used this palette, guys. I have so many palettes. What is wrong with me? I can't decide if I want to try to hit pan on one of the matte shades or one of the shimmers. I was thinking this one, which is full zip. I even own that in a full size. Good golly. But maybe that one, because I can use it to set the lid, or maybe this one as a transition, that's note to self. I don't know. I have not decided, but I want to hit pan on something in this palette. So yeah, that is my drop 10 by summer. And if you're doing this, please let me know.